The OpenFFBot project aims to provide an open source, modular and modifiable system for use in custom force feedback devices like direct drive steering wheels. It is still in active development and more improvements will be added over time. As an example, we will take a look at how a force feedback steering wheel could be set up using our custom TMC4671 based motor driver. A force feedback steering wheel using the system normally consists of one main microcontroller, which is this board running the OpenFF board firmware, a motor driver like our TMC4671 based driver, a motor with position feedback, possibly some buttons on the steering wheel, and maybe peripherals like a shifter and extra analog inputs like, for example, pedals. The runtime configuration is done via a CDC serial port based on readable commands, which are sent by a cross-platform compatible graphical user interface. For custom applications, an HID protocol is also available, which supports almost all features of the serial-based protocol as well. In this case, the force feedback wheel main class, which dictates how the device behaves, is used. This main class makes the device show up as the serial port and also provides a direct input compatible HID descriptor, which is supported by both Windows and Linux and works without any additional drivers and also supports all standard effects for compatibility with both new and also old games. So let's take a look at the types of motors and encoders which can be used with the TMC4671. The most commonly used motor type would be the three-phase brushless DC server motor, like all of them here seen on the desk. Normally they use standard ABN incremental encoders, often also with an index which can be used for automatic homing. But the TMC4671 also supports higher resolution analog sine cosine encoders with the integrated 16-bit ADCs. One of these encoders is used in this HR115 motor and this provides an excellent resolution. Another option is to use the analog three-phase encoder and then of course low resolution hall sensors can be used as well. The modular nature of this firmware allows us to enable and disable features at runtime. So for example, in this case, we will select different button sources. We can enable the digital pins, which are the first eight buttons directly connected to the chip. And on the first pin, we have connected the reverse button of the shifter. And we can see the pin is changing. And then we can also enable SPI button sources. For that, we have connected to shift registers, so we can get 16 extra buttons. And this switch is connected to the last pin of the shift registers. And then we can also enable the shifter, which is the Logitech G29 shifter, which adds its buttons after the last selected SPI button source and translates the positions of the stick to gear positions and presses the buttons accordingly. And then lastly, an I2C port extender. We have connected this switch to this port extender and this presses the button number 31. For DIY setups, the firmware also supports other open source motor drivers like the O-Drive and also the VLC, both via a CAN bus. Additionally, there is also a simple PWM output available to pass forces to many other motor drivers as well if a locally connected encoder is used. So now let's try out the OpenFF board in-game. Currently, the steering wheel is powered by the TMC driver with one OpenFF board stacked on top. And it is connected to an AKM52 motor, 